Wild celebrations have continued on the streets of Zimbabwe, with people dancing and singing well into the night following Robert Mugabe's resignation. Welcome to the new Zimbabwe people chanted outside the Harare Conference Center where MPs had earlier met to start impeachment proceedings. This is the best day of my life, said one man, as people celebrated on cars and crowded round tanks to shake hands with the SOLRS lauded for their role in getting rid of the reviled leader. I have beaten Christ Mugabe in his own words image the end of Mugabe's reign sparked parties in the streets we didn't fight the 1980 war but we fought the 2017 war and we are happy that Mugabe is gone and HES gone for good. Happy New Zimbabwe, said another Harare resident. Zimbabweans in other countries also celebrated the downfall of the long-time leader. A crowd gathered outside the country's embassy in London, with people jumping up and down, waving flags and talking of national joy and a new hope. Image there was singing and dancing outside Zimbabwe's UK embassy on the Strand Image Zimbabweans living in Johannesburg, South Africa, also celebrated Zimbabweans living in South Africa, took to the streets of Johannesburg and some were pictured burning shirts of the ruling Zanup party. Mr. Mugabe announced his resignation with immediate effect on Tuesday afternoon. There was jubilation as a resignation letter was read out in the country's parliament, where impeachment proceedings against the ruler had begun. The 93-year-old said he had chosen to step down to ensure a smooth, peaceful and non-violent transfer of power, and that he had made the decision voluntarily. Exiled Vice President Emerson Nangagwa is due to land in Zimbabwe at 1.30 p.m. 11.30 a.m. UK time and is later expected to be sworn in as president. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said Zimbabwe had an extraordinary opportunity to set itself on a new path, while British PM Theresa May said it could forge a new path free of the oppression that characterized Mugabe's rule. Video I nearly collapsed through excitement Mr. Mugabe's announcement sparked ecstatic scenes in the Zimbabwean capital Harare, where protesters had gathered to call for him to be removed from office. Emerson Nangagwa told Newsday I want to congratulate the people of Zimbabwe on reaching this historic moment. Together, we will ensure a peaceful transition to the consolidation of our democracy, and bring in a fresh start for all Zimbabweans in foster peace and unity. Earlier this month, Mr. Mugabe sparked a political crisis which ended his dictatorship by sacking Mr. Nangagwa, paving the way for his wife Grace to succeed him. Military chiefs reacted by taking control of the capital, seizing the state broadcaster and placing Mr. Mugabe under house arrest. The thrill of being swept up in Zimbabwe's joy image Mugabe's portrait is removed from a wall in Harare's International Conference Center The ruler initially refused to stand down and told Zimbabweans in a televised address they must learn to forgive. But he was forced to face impeachment proceedings amid claims he allowed his wife to usurp constitutional power and had been seen sleeping in cabinet and international meetings bringing horror and shame to Zimbabweans. Mr. Mugabe had ruled Zimbabwe since 1980 and his departure leaves the Queen as the world's oldest head of state. Under his presidency, the southern African country's economy collapsed and unemployment rose to more than 90 percent. Profile assassination attempts, power grabs and tyranny image 1980 Mr. Mugabe and then UK Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher meted the year Rhodesia became Zimbabwe image 1979 Robert Mugabe and the Zimbabwe African People's Union ZAPU leader Joshua Nkomo at the Lancaster House talks that led to the end of colonial rule image 1980 Mr. Mugabe, then newly elected as Prime Minister of Zimbabwe, holds a press conference in his garden image 1982 Mr. Mugabe visited the Queen at Buckingham Palace with his first wife, Sally image 1984 Mr. Mugabe addressing a crowd at Harare Stadium a year after suppressing an armed rebellion in Indabeliland image 1980 he was awarded Dr. Honoris Causa at the University of Harare, an institution he would later be Chancellor of Image 1986 Mr. Mugabe leaves the scene of the African National Congress ANC officers that were bombed days earlier by a South African commando Image 1986 Cuban President Fidel Castro C. shares a laugh with Zimbabwean President Kane and Banana R and then Prime Minister Mr. Mugabe L. Image 1988 Mr. Mugabe speaks to the press at the United 
Nations, about the Africa Prize for Leadership Image 1993 Chinese President Jiang Zemanel welcomes Mr. Mugabe with a Chinese honor guard during a welcoming ceremony outside the Great Hall of the People in Beijing Image 1996 Robert and Grace Mugabe married in a ceremony attended by 6,000 guests Image the couple became known for their outfits. She was nicknamed First Shopper in Gucci Grace Image 2005 Mr. Mugabe was sometimes seen asleep in public in later years, such as here at an African Union meeting, but friends insisted he remained sharp of mind Image Mr. Mugabe addresses a rally in Sanyati, November 2005, on the eve of the senatorial elections Image 2017 with his time in office drawing to a close, Mr. Mugabe was seen negotiating with generals. Pick Herald newspaper, the 93-year-old has been accused of a range of human rights abuses, including denying food aid to areas supporting the opposition. He has also faced repeated accusations of election vote rigging and intimidation in 2008 a violent campaign against supporters of opposition leader Morgan Changarai saw scores killed and thousands displaced. Chris Musvangwa, leader of Zimbabwe's war veterans group, described Mr. Mugabe's resignation as the end of a very painful and sad chapter in the history of a young nation, in which a dictator, as he became old, surrendered his court to a gang of thieves around his wife. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Theresa May said in recent days we have seen the desire of the Zimbabwean people for free and fair elections and the opportunity to rebuild the country's economy under a legitimate government. Video Sky reporter Mobdis Harari celebrates what next for Zimbabwe's crippled economy. As Zimbabwe's oldest friend we will do all we can to support this, working with our international and regional partners to help the country achieve the brighter future it so deserves.